Hello, Elizabeth here, and today I'm going to show you how to create this neon pop art zombie makeup look. Pop art makeup has always caught my eye, but I've always found it intimidating because although I'm pretty good at makeup, I'm not very good at art or drawing. And it seemed like a lot of precision line work and adding highlights and shadows in a way that doesn't come very naturally to me. It turned out a lot better than I thought I was capable of, so if you're afraid of it, I would encourage you to just give it a try and you might surprise yourself. And I'm gonna be here to walk you through everything step by step. I started with cleansed and moisturized skin and applied the e.l.f. Blemish Control Primer all over my face. Then I used concealer to map out the areas where I wanted the brain and the flesh to be exposed through the blue zombie skin. Next I took this teal shade from my Athena painting palette and used a sponge to apply it all over my face, avoiding those areas I mapped out for the exposed flesh. You can find links to all of the products I'm using in the description of this video. Then I applied a light blue eyeshadow from the ColourPop Fade Into Hue palette all over my eyelids. I used this darker blue shade to add some depth in my creases. Next I used a paintbrush to apply this bright pink shade from the Athena palette to the exposed flesh areas. Then I used a paintbrush with that original teal color to clean up the edges and solidify those shapes. Next I applied the black paint from the Athena palette onto my eyebrows. I used a black liquid eyeliner to sharpen the edges and fill in any gaps. I outlined all of the exposed flesh areas with the black liquid eyeliner as well. Then I used a thin paintbrush to add some darker pink lines inside the exposed flesh to give some dimension and detail to the skin and brain. I followed that with the black liquid eyeliner again, outlining all of the details in the brain and the exposed flesh. Then I used the black paint to create the skeleton nose detail and filled that in with liquid eyeliner as well to make it more opaque. Next I went back in with that darker blue from the Fade Into Hue palette to add a bit of contour to the blue skin. I applied some just under my cheekbones, the temples, my forehead and my jawline. I also added a bit around the edges of the brain and the flesh. Next I finished off the eye makeup with some black winged liner, a bit of mascara and some dramatic false lashes.
I added a black line down the center of the mouth flesh wound and a few more little black details around the edges. Then I applied these teardrop shaped rhinestones which I thought would look kind of like teeth and would add a bit of sparkle to the look. The adhesive on stones like this usually isn't that great, so I like to add a dot of lash glue to help keep them securely in place. Painting opaque white onto the face can be really tricky, especially when you already have bright colors as a base. So this was a great alternative instead of trying to paint white teeth onto that bright pink section. Next, I applied my friggin' favorite liquid lipstick of all time, Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. This is the shade Romantic, but it comes in more than 40 shades. I have several of them and it lasts all day, even through eating multiple meals, and it doesn't fade or smudge. You can find the link for this in the description as well. Then it was time to add all of the little pop art funky details, so again I went in with my black liquid eyeliner and just started adding lines all over. This doesn't need to be perfect, my strategy was just to add them around the edges of the features that are already there, like the brain and the flesh, my nose, my eyebrows, and my mouth. I also outlined my lips, including a line in the middle where my lips touch and a few thinner lines coming from that one to give that pop art vibe to my mouth. And then finally, I went in with a white liquid eyeliner and did the same thing, adding little shine lines all around for the finishing touches. And here is the final result. In total, it took me about an hour and a half to complete the look. The final product looks pretty daunting, but just take it step by step and you can totally do it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and if you enjoyed this video, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment letting me know what sort of videos you'd like to see in the future. See you later!